because I'm you know, under 30 in this decade, there's been an enormous amount of change. Most of my work has been produced in the university context, at Ryerson, um, in the photography program, and then at the University of Toronto in the, when I did my Master of Visual Studies. I'm still very much in a growth period um, as an artist. I guess the way that I would define it, if I had to, is a lot of, I guess some kind of visual, inspiration, a lot of the images that I produce begin with something that I saw that sort of triggered me. My practice is predominantly portraiture and self-portraiture and in the last seven years, seven, eight years, I've gravitated to doing more self-portraiture and also uh, incorporating the use of built sculptural garments um, or objects that I create within my studio space before the image is taken as well as uh, performance. My work uh, explores the themes of identity in the self and I'm curious that exploring that through um, history and culture and lineage and looking at um, not only my personal identity um, but also looking at our collective identity. I would say I'm very much um, a printer you know in a big way like I think it took me a long time in my practice to kind of um, identify as a shooter, which is a little weird for photographers because shooting is like you know, one of the biggest parts of what we do. But for me it was like so always so much about the print and the materiality of the print and the texture of different papers and um, you know the print as an object. And even though I've come to identify more as a shooter in recent years, um, I really I think am first and foremost a printer and you know it's not clear to me when I take when I when I make an image what the actual product is going to look like because I manipulate it so much in the darkroom.